All right, guys, we are finally out here with the BMW C04. The scooter is just launched in India, and there's nothing usual about it, from the looks to the uh, to the underpinnings and especially the price tag. Now, this scooter has launched at 14 lakh 90 thousand rupees X showroom, India. So yes, that makes it the most expensive electric scooter that you can currently get your hands on in the country. Now I'm just going to take you through what you get for that price. So let's take it from the front. As you can see, very futuristic, stylish, outstanding looking scooter. A nice broad stance up front. That's a big 15 inch wheel you have in front. A nice chunky tires as well. You get Maxxis tires for the scooter out here. Twin disc brake setup. Uh, that's a 265mm disc. You have four uh, pistons, fixed calipers uh, that links up to uh, a telescopic frock up front and uh, coming back you'll see the nice broad stance of the scooter, very nice chunky feel and uh, coming further back to the side you'll see that it is a maxi style scooter because you do not have the space, uh, you do not have a lot of foot room uh, to store anything in front of there. Now coming up here, this is one of the most unique bits about the scooter, you get a 10.25 inch TFT screen very vibrant in, uh, in its display. It can be set up for navigation. You can cast a map on there as well. And uh, very intuitive and quite nice to look at it uh, in general. Now coming to the switch gear, as you can see, you have the BMW rotary dial, which is uh, a feature on big BMW motorcycles. And you even get this one out here. That's the reverse button, uh, the menus to toggle through uh, all the commands on the screen. And of course, you do get three ride modes with this particular scooter. Now you have uh, Eco, rain and road which you can toggle through and it alters the way the power is delivered and the way uh, yes the ABS and the other features kick in. Now uh, yes coming to the side of the scooter as you can see it's one of the longest scooters you've ever come across because uh, just looking at that wheelbase 1675 mm man that's longer than a BMW the R1300 GS that's longer than anything we've actually seen on any scooter. Uh, so, yes, it is long and this one is heavy too, weighing in at around 231 kgs curb weight. Man, that thing is heavy. So, coming back to the seat. Now, as you can see, quite a long seat we have out here floating. Looks pretty neat, uh, rather uncomfortable, but we'll, uh, we'll save our judgment for that too, actually, when we have the scooter to test out on the road. Now, when in terms of seating, yep, you, the, you, do have, you do get to feel the weight on the scooter as well. You have two riding, uh, two foot positions, uh, the normal for city usage and if you're cruising out on the highway, well you can get into a rather more comfy stance. Now in terms of the battery, that's uh, the battery fits under the footboard and you have a nice big 8.9 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, yes, it has been borrowed from the other BMW cars that we already seen in the country but uh, right here you only have just one 8.9 kilowatt hour unit that's uh, linked up to the motor. That's a 15 kilowatt hour peak power motor, I believe. And yes, uh, it makes a total of 42 PS of max power and 62 Nm of max torque. So in true EV tradition, it should be real hoot out on the road uh, when you access all the right, uh, right commands and functions. Coming for the back. Now, this is one of the more unique things about the scooter because uh, it is, as you can see, Clearly a belt driven scooter, that is the offset monoshock, a uh, very unique bit coming down to a very different style. Uh, we, have, we have seen something like this on uh, the Royal Enfield uh, motorcycles because this is an integrated uh, turn indicator and the, the tail light. Coming to this side of the, uh, the wheel, as you can see it is a single sided swing arm, that is the disc kind of uh, this, the wheel that this uh, scooter has. Nice chunky Maxxis tires and here you can see where the motor is placed. Now, uh, another very unique thing about the scooter is the storage space because this isn't your conventional uh, electric scooter as you may have already guessed. That is the storage area that you have to work with. That is the charger, the standard charger that fits in there. Uh, it comes with a 2.3 kilowatt hour charger. It should take you around four and a half hours to charge from zero to 100 top up. Uh, 0 to 80 will take around three and a half hours, I believe. And you can up the game with uh, an additional fast charger that should charge the entire scooter from 0 to 80. Uh, it's set to be in around um, one and a half hours. So that's pretty interesting. Overall, this scooter is supposed to give you a range of 130 kilometers. So not one of the best we've seen, but yes, it is what it is. And that's what you have to, uh, that's what you have to work with in terms of the design and uh, the storage space. Not to show up a full face helmet will fit in there because yeah, a half-face helmet for sure, but then 
the more fancier helmets you have as far as AGB, shoeys and all that kind of stuff, I don't think that's really good. For you. That's your uh, glove box and you have, it fits in all your stuff and it is a ventilated glove box. There is a fan in there to cool your phone while it's actually charging and uh, that's pretty neat and nifty. And out here is your charging socket. As I mentioned before, uh, pretty neat once again. That is the keyless ignition because it comes with a key fob. So overall, a very interesting scooter. But once again, 14 lakhs, 90,000. That's obviously going to be more than 15 lakhs out on the road. So very unique. It's going to be really up market. It looks, it looks and feels though. But uh, how does to ride out on the road? Uh, we will let you know as soon as we get our hands on it out on the road. So do let us know what do you think about the CE4 in the comments below.